Hi guys, it's Dan here and today I have for you a short tutorial on how to pair Amazon GTR watch with your phone. So as you can see here I have GTR 2E edition but this should work fine with any other GTR or any Amazfit in general. So if you have different model of GTR or Amazfit this tutorial should work for you as well. But before we start, if you are new to this channel then please subscribe for more videos and tutorials like this and please hit the like button to help with YouTube algorithm. So without further ado, let's pair our watch. When you first turn on your watch, you should get a menu to select a language. So let's select English. And now as you can see, we got a QR code and this code will help us to connect the device to our phone. I'm using iPhone, but this should work very similar for Android as well. So first we need to install the Zep app. So please go to the App Store or Google Play Store and look for Zep app, which is the official Amazon app for Amazfit watches. And let's install the app. The app will ask for Bluetooth and some other permissions. So we have to approve these for everything to work correctly. And if this is done and you didn't use Zep app before, you have to create an account. You can either register yourself or in the bottom you will find sign in with a third party account. And here you can select Apple account, Facebook account or Google or even Xiaomi. So if you have one of these and prefer to do it this way, you can select one of these. When this is done, there are some further permissions that you should approve to get notifications. And if you are using iPhone, the app will ask as well for access to Apple Health. And here you can enable the type of access. I will just allow all. And that way the Zep app will be able to write all the data to Apple Health app as well, which I think is very convenient. So now finally we can pair our watch. You need to click the profile icon in the bottom right corner and then there is add device button. Then you click watch and again agree for collecting data. On the next screen we select watch with a QR code and we scan the code from our watch using the camera from the phone. We will get notification to confirm the pairing on our watch, so we need to accept it. While the watch is binding to our phone, we will get some quick user guide, so we can just scroll through some basic tips and tricks how to use the watch. Or we can just click get started on the bottom of the screen straight away. Since my watch was already connected before, I have an option to restore reminders. You will probably not see this one. And now the watch will sync for a moment, update a GPS and some other things. And now our watch is connected and ready to use. Let me also give you some quick overview of the app. So on the main screen we have PAI, which is some general activity indicator from Amazon, steps, heart rate and others. And we can modify this page by clicking edit the data card at the bottom. And here is what we can see. And we can just move it around and change the order. Or we can drag in different information from the bottom and the same drag it out from the visible information to the hidden ones. We can enter any of the metric to see more details for specific days, weeks, months or years. And we can also click the arrow in the corner for each metric to see a bit more details on our homepage. As you can see, we have some additional graphs when we click on the arrow. If we will go to profile and then our device, we'll have additional settings. For example, in health monitoring, we can set up frequency of heart detection, stress levels and some sleep metrics. So all of these we can change here. In watch settings, we can adjust display and brightness, vibration and other device related features. And in notifications and reminders, we can adjust general notifications for calls and messages as well as app alerts. So as you can see, we have the most popular social apps here as TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp and others. 
So if you want to get these notifications on your watch, you should enable them here. Okay guys, this was just a quick overview. I hope this was helpful. If yes, then please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.